welcome back to Crochet at My House. So it's been kind of a busy week, mostly on planning stuff out. I've been working out things that I'm going to be doing. Um, the haul didn't manage to get done on Saturday. Issues, life, you know, things get in the way sometimes and you have to do it later. So um, the haul should end up on this coming Saturday. And I'm planning probably to record it right after this one, just to make it sure that it's like ready and I don't have to worry about it. But, um, yeah, that's um, stuff. I'm also planning on doing the, some of the organising soon. I might actually do some of the organising as a sort of live video, just for, I'll just gonna be moving stuff about back here and going through old magazines and things. But um yes, on to the crochet stuff. It's all whips. One of them is like semi finished but I've got things that I'm adding to it and then everything else is just kinda not finished at all. Now, one of the things I've been working is in here, this is the elephant, and this week I made another ear, so this I've shown previously, it's the trunk, I've also previously shown one of these, I now have two of the ears, so there's not much to that, it's just an ear, but that's what I've done. And um, I'll probably get some more of that done this week because I've got less planning and stuff to do. We'll see. Then we also have my journal cover. Um, which is here. Which right now is just kind of a flat piece. But it will go on this book here which I have shown before. I'm just going to wrap around like that. And I have done different stitches on this item. So the main stitch here of this, this is the lemon peel stitch. Then here we have an arrow stitch which was quite interesting. And then right at the edge here is a bead stitch. And I will link things down below so that you can um, use the stitches if you want. There isn't a specific pattern to this. It's just kind of a couple of different stitches put together. And I plan on adding back here a pocket for my pens to go in which will probably end up being about that length and I'm going to be putting closure and I haven't decided yet but I may be putting handles on this as well and if you haven't noticed there is no um, tuck in piece for inside and that's because I'm actually going to get my mum to do a rectangle that's about that wide roughly that fill this space here on both sides for going inside just to make it flatter on the inside so it doesn't bulge because what happens when you put crochet in this kind of space is you get this bulging effect so the idea was you should use a piece of fabric which is much thinner and then close it in and then this would just be on the outside. So that's the um, book cover. And the next thing I actually just started, which is this market bag. It's got quite a lot of detail to it. I think it's the Sakura market bag or something like that. Obviously it will be linked down below with all of the other things. I, I'm using a different weight. I've done this bag before using Lily Sugar and Cream. 
fit. This time I'm just using this. Um, I think it's supposed to be about a DK, maybe four ply ish weight. So it's kind of on the thin side. But that's what I'm using. And um, it said Black Friday on it. I think it was maybe from Hobby or something. I got it second hand. But I'm, I'm using it. It, it does feel nice, it works up nice, it's just thinner than what I used last time. So that's the market bag. I do have a couple of other things that I'm going to be starting that I haven't started yet. Um, I can't remember, I can't remember if I showed this. This is actually December's middle section for the mile in it. Really like that. I will be hopefully finishing that in the coming week I need to get some yarn for one of the pieces that I couldn't finish so I'll probably do a small yarn haul in a video and I also have something my mum made for me which is this cute little tote bag that's the handles this is the fabric and you won't even really be able to tell without me pointing this out. But there is a pocket right here. And my mum made it so that it lines up with the pattern. And I think it's really neat. Like if I bring it closer, you can see it. But further away, it literally blends in. And it does have a little bit of lining in it. It's just blue. And the rest is lined with just some white. I think it looks really nice. And it will be used for um, projects and stuff. That kind of thing. I always need another bag for projects and stuff. So, um, I think that's about everything for today. Um, I did finish a page in this in December. I can't remember if I showed it here yet or not. But this is how it is finished. I think it turned out really nice. And all I used in that was in Crayola Crayons. And I'm actually thinking I might do one in here soon. Which I got this a while ago, but I didn't get around to doing a flip through. I might still end up doing a flip through eventually. I thought I'd show one of the pages I'm thinking I might do. If I can find the page, that is. There's actually quite a lot of nice pictures in here. I think I might do this one, which probably won't show up too well, but I think you can kind of see it. Um, it's some lambs in a field, and I thought it would be a nice spring picture to colour in. Uh, that's about everything, I think. Um, my question today will be, what's your most recent project that you've started? Mine's with the market bag. It, yours could be whatever it was. So, remember and like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications every time I put up a video.